Howdy folks, BC here. You're watching Deucing Guns. Today we're going to get dirty and change the oil into Deuce's transmission. Okay, after removing about a dozen or so bolts that happen to be 7 16 in size, I was able to get the cover off and you can see what looks like they've marked it as being last serviced in August of 2001. Well, that was 13 years ago, so it's probably time to do it again. Now, one of the things I do want to check here is the actual breather here. You can see it's moving freely, which means it's more than likely not clogged up. I should probably take that apart. I might do that later. But for right now, we're just going to be changing oil because I don't see any kind of overpressure situation just yet. So let's get down underneath the deuce and start draining fluid. Alrighty, folks, we are now down to the ground level of the deuce. Here's a front tire. The transmission is right here. And let's go over what plugs you're going to be dealing with here. Number one, um, you can have all kinds of different types of plugs or need all kinds of different types of wrenches for your deuce. And here is the transmission drain plug. And as you can see, it is the 9 16 hex plug there. Now let's look at the other options you might find on your deuce. And here is the transmission fuel plug, and that is a 5 8 inch square plug. I've already loosened everything up here because who wants to see some dude just struggle with bolts all day on YouTube? And you may come across a plug like this. This is on my transfer case, but it could be on your transmission as well. And you can just use a half inch ratchet, and it goes right in there perfectly. Okay, time to start draining. Alrighty folks, here's what came out of the deuce. There's a shade over a gallon, about a gallon and a quarter of, I'm assuming either GL1 or GL5 um, oil that they use in the military. It's blue, it stinks to high heaven, and it actually has a lot of debris in it. Uh, a lot of metal shavings, things of that nature, so someone looks like I've been grinding some gears in my deuce before I got it. Well, good thing I did this then, so I'm going to go ahead and change it out, and I want to change to a different type of oil. I'll show you this now. Alrighty, folks, I've got the GL5 oil drained out of the system, and I'm going to be replacing it with 30 straight weight non detergent motor oil. That's actually what the manufacturer um, intended the Spicer transmission to be run on. That was actually what was spec'd for it. The reason why the government does not use 30 weight straight oil is because they want to use as few oils as possible in as many applications as possible. So the government at one time realized you could run GL5 oil in the transmission, the transfer case, and all three axles. Before that it was GL1 oil, and then they improved it a little bit, but it's still not as good as what was intended by the manufacturer. So I'm going to be using straight weight 30 non-detergent oil. This happens to be the brand Traveler, which is the store brand for tractor supply. If you do not have a tractor supply nearby, any non-detergent straight 30 weight oil will work. This actually will help out with uh, shifting as well as um, it will extend the life of the transmission overall. Now let's go ahead and fill her up. Okay, now we're back under the deuce, and here's where we actually drained all the fluid out over here. And now we're going to take off the fuel plug, which again is, what is this, a 5 8 inch square plug. So we're going to take that off, and we're just going to go ahead and I'm going to run a funnel from the top since I have a two gallon jug, which so I'm going to be putting a gallon and a quarter in. Okay, now, the trick will be to not spill half a gallon in the cab of the deuce. Here's my funnel. I'm just going to go to town slowly. Wow, it's draining really slowly. I'm sure this is riveting YouTube. How about I cut the one I'm out about done? How about that? 
Okay, we now have the transmission full of new 30 weight non-detergent oil. Here's the fill hole. And let me show you how you actually check. You always check transmissions down to the first knuckle of your finger. So, what you want to do is stick your finger into the hole until the first knuckle is at the edge of the threads. You bend down and you bring your finger out. And if there's oil on the end of it, like this, then you are good to go. Which means that we're ready to button this up. Now supposedly, this new oil should help in the uh, shifting to second gear, which is always stiff for pretty much every deuce out there. So we'll see if this helps things out. Okay, that's buttoned up. Now let's go for test drive. Well folks, that worked great. It actually does shift a little smoother. It's it's still a deuce and a half. It's not gonna shift like a Porsche. It never will, and it wasn't ever designed to be that way. Uh, but I am very pleased with using the uh, 30 weight non-detergent oil. Seems to be shifting much smoother than it used to. Felt much more uh, positive when you shifted in and out of each gear. So I give that definitely a thumbs up as far as moving away from what the government suggests or government has done and using a straight weight 30 or 40 weight oil. Well guys, that's all I have today for you. Um, if you like this video, go ahead and give me a good old like and uh, subscribe because I have more of these on the way. And if you uh, have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them in the comment box below the video. I'll try to get it to as many as possible. And of course, always guys, you guys have a great day. See ya.